Good afternoon, good afternoon. Today is a today is a resurrection day. It's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be in the land of living. It's a great day to be God's own child. And today the the message is no mess, no message. I know you're wondering, what does that got to do with Christ's death, resurrection? It has a lot to do with it. And we're going to see how that message coincides with this special day today. But let me tell you this, every day we should thank God for sending His Son to die for our sins. Not only one day, but every day. Every day, every day, because you know what? When we can, when we can, we can get up, and see, smell, walk, and talk. That's a blessing. That's a blessing that God blesses with. So we should, so we should take advantage of that. Tell God, thank you. We tell others, thank you for others, thank you for the small things, for the small things to do for us. Well, God has done a big thing for us. He gave us only. His only begotten Son to die on the cross for our sins. That's something to thank God for. And today's word, I'll get two scriptures for you. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. The first scripture is Mark 15 and 15. It's coming up, and it says, So Pilate, willing to content, release, release Barabbas, and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. You see, Jesus was beat with a whip for our salvation. You see, he went through a whole lot to save us. Can you imagine you ain't done nothing wrong and you're getting beat for, for, for somebody else's mess? The next scripture is John 19 and 18. Okay. It's coming. It's coming to you. It's coming to you. It's coming to you. It's coming to you. I want you to see what I'm I want you to, I want you to see what I'm bringing to you. And it says, when they crucified him, two others with him on either side and Jesus in the midst. You see, they put nails through his hands and feet and then they, and, and then they lift him up and his weight dropped. That was painful. But here's the good part. If Jesus had not gone through that mess, we would not be saved today. If not gone through that mess, we would not have a message of the cross. Like in our lives, the mess in our lives, the ones we the ones we create with the ones we create and the ones that are not ours, they become messages, messages for us to tell us about God. Think about it. If you had a hard time growing up and God took care of you, if you see somebody else going through a hard time, you can say, look here, I grew up, I, I grew up, I, I grew up, I grew up, I grew up in a hard way. But look at me today. God took care of me. Even, even, even if you were an alcoholic and, and, and today you are sober and got a good job and got, and got a house and doing things. You can tell somebody else who's in, you can tell somebody else who's in that same predicament and say, "Look here, God can do it. He did it for me." So, the mess creates a message in our lives. Our message comes from our mess. Just know that our message comes from our mess. If I had not gone through what I went through, 
I would not be here today telling you that God will make a way for you out of no way. Even when it don't look like it. Even when you're down and out. Because I've been down and out my life. And God has brought me up. He has brought me up. Made, made my quick way straight. Put me on solid ground. So, so, so if Jesus had not gone through that mess, the message of the cross would not be here today. No mess, no message. No mess, no message. No mess, no message. And as we look at the cross, we see Jesus was railroaded. He was falsely accused. His clothes were where they cast light for his clothes. A crown thorn, a crown thorn, a crown thorn pierced his head. He was pierced inside with a with a sword. He bled and died. Went through that mess to save us. Are we willing to go through mess to actually learn a lesson? Jesus, was God's son. He was God's son. He could have called the angel from heaven to actually free him from the cross. But because of his love for us, he stayed there. He stayed there. He went through the mess to save us. And now the message of the cross is known. So no mess no message no mess no message so just know the next time some mess coming in lives whether you create it or it comes by itself go through the process and trust God and follow his instructions and you'll become a messenger of hope Messenger of of don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams, hopes, and visions. Keep pushing, keep striving. When a mess comes your way, just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Because today's message is no mess, no message. You see, our hard times and, tr and, tr and trials, they're not for us, they're for others. So remember no mess, no message. No mess, no message.